story this evening. Milwaukee police are releasing video of a fatal officer involved shooting on the city's south side. Officers were searching for a homicide suspect when this shooting unfolded. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez is live with the video. Angie? That's right, guys. We do want to warn our viewers that some of these images are disturbing. Now, this is a case that unfolded when a tip of information came through to police and it ended with somebody losing their life. <laughs> Go get it. I'll stay here. Okay. Milwaukee police are releasing never before seen video of a fatal officer involved shooting as part of their community briefings, an initiative launched by MPD to be more transparent with the public on officer involved shootings. Milwaukee police support 18. How may I help you? This case started when police received a tip that homicide suspect Victor Centron was hiding out in this neighborhood. According to the briefing, officers parked in this city lot following the tip on May 7th. They say after being parked for 20 minutes, a man approached the parking lot and opened the trunk of a vehicle. The man then tried to look inside the officer's vehicle but couldn't due to the dark tint. Police say the man returned with another person who was wearing a hooded sweatshirt and had a scarf covering the lower half of his face. Police say the man in the hoodie approached the undercover vehicle and pointed a gun at the driver's side. Officers opened fire. Body cameras captured the aftermath. 9463, do we have medical coming? Police identified the man shot and killed as 34 year old Cesar Tomix Sarmiento Molina. A memorial remains on the concrete. MPD says they don't know why Molina approached the vehicle. He was a good person. He helped everybody. They killed him unjustly. Luis Morales tells Fox 6 in Spanish Molina was his boss. He says Molina owned this auto shop. He believes Molina approached the undercover car for security reasons. He says Molina would often check out unknown vehicles parked near his business. They shot at him. They didn't let him speak or anything. That was unjust. Now, Victor Centron was eventually arrested in California. Police say no charges were filed against the other person that ran away during that incident. This remains an ongoing investigation led by the Waukesha Police Department. Live on the city's south side, I'm Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. All right, Angelica, thank you.